In the last video, we started looking at the poetry of the Psalms. I am so glad that the Elohim chose not to use rhyme or counting syllables in the Psalms, as this would never translate into any other language. The choice to use this form of poetry is absolutely brilliant because it translates into every language. Last time we, we picked a Bible and we split it up. So we got, blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man whom Yahweh does not impute iniquity. So we have thought poetry, uh, rhyming thoughts as it were, not rhyme, but matching thoughts. We're going to continue this. Uh, we're going to use a resource called the uh, Biblical Chiasm Exchange website by Brother Stephen Palmer. Um, the website is chiasmusexchange.com. And what we'll do is we'll come down to the book of Psalms and go down to Psalm 32. And we'll just be looking at this first part. So he's used some indentation, which we'll look at shortly. Uh, you see he's colored in the, the sin and the transgression and iniquity. And uh, he sees it comes up again down here. Sin, iniquity, iniquity, sin, and transgressions. Uh, so what I'm going to do is take this and uh, copy that over to what we started working on. So I'm going to clear this formatting here. I'm going to set this, uh, the transgression, I'm going to color the words this time. So we'll do a dark red, and I'll copy it, double-click on the roller here. You got sin, you got iniquity. So you get this sense that uh, he's considering his iniquity, transgression, and sin. Um, and sin there, iniquity, transgressions, iniquity, and sin. So back at the chiasm, uh, we have these wonderful indents here that go in and out. And in the middle, he's put it in bold. For day and night, thy hand was heavy on me. So I'm going to go back to the psalm, and I'm going to work at it, uh, knowing that there's a, um, a pattern in here. And I'm, I'm not going to talk, so I can speed up the video. Now, before narrating this, I just kind of read it over, get a sense of the what it's trying to say, the, the poetry of it. We can kind of see from about here to here, this section, he's happy because his sins are forgiven. And down here, from there to there, he acknowledges he's confessing his sins and he's being forgiven. Yet in the middle here, this indented part, this is where he's silent and he's uh, not confessing his sins. So uh, let's give this a try narrating. Happy is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Happy is the man to whom Yahweh does not impute iniquity and in whose spirit there is no deceit. When I kept silent, my bones grew old through my groaning all the day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My vitality was turned into the drought of summer. Selah. I acknowledged my sin to you and my iniquity I have not covered. I said, I will confess my transgressions to Yahweh, and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. Selah. Hopefully this has helped with understanding the poetry of Psalms. Thank you for watching this second video. The next video is my favorite part, looking at the context to which a psalm is written. What scriptures are being referred to in this psalm?